Hi, it's Luke from 1WD TV, where you can learn to make money with WordPress. In the previous lesson, we created a custom WooCommerce layout for the single product pages using the Woo Layout Injector. In this lesson, we will create a custom archive page layout for the WooCommerce shop and category pages. This time, we will need to create two layouts, one for the loop item and one for the archive page itself. Let's get started by going to the Divi library and creating a new layout. We will name this one the loop item. Set the template type to layout and submit. For this layout, we will use a single column with the product image at the top, followed by the rating, then the price, and finally the add to cart button. Update the page. Next, create another layout. We will call this one Archive and again set the template type to Layout and Submit. You can add any of the standard Divi modules to this layout but must include the ET Woo Loop Archive module. Inside the settings for this module, we can choose the Loop Item layout we just created. Let's set the layout type to grid. Save and exit. Update the page. Let's go to the Woo Layout Injector plugin settings and scroll down to the Shop Page meta box and choose the archive layout we just created. Save the settings. Now, if we go to our Shop page, we will see our custom archive page layout. If you enjoyed this tutorial and want to learn more, Come and check us out over at 1wd.tv.